Hey everybody, Mark Spector Comics, and I'm back. This time, I wanted to do a little bit of speculation pickups. If you want to see what I picked up this week, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you'll get it in a timely fashion. So I was able to go out this week for uh, to do some comic hunting. Ended up picking up some, uh, what did I go to, a couple shops maybe? One over the weekend. I think one on Tuesday or Wednesday, I forget now. Um, ended up going to a second in Charles, and I went to another LCS near me. Um, ended up not picking up any new comic book day books because uh, I went to the second in Charles on Wednesday. So they don't always have new comic books, but um, the uh, other LCS I went over the weekend, so I didn't get new comics either. So I just went back issue hunting and uh, wanted to pick up some cool spec books or, or books to just, you know, be in, looking out for when you're out hunting. Um, and some of these I'm kind of surprised I was able to find in the back issue bin still. And uh, so I'll show you some of the books. Um, not a big stack. I think maybe... Six books total, something like that. So it'll be a short, a fairly short video. So, uh, all right, first book. I was really surprised to see this book. I got this at Second and Charles. The rest will be uh, at the other LCS. I've been to, I think, two or three Second and Charles out here in Denver, and I've never found anything good. A lot of the books are pretty raggedy, beat up, not bagged and boarded. And the ones that are, they're like really severely nicked and ticked up. And, um, but I was really surprised to find this book there this week. And, um, this book became rather hot all of a sudden. This is zero number one. Um, this book was picked up by, I think it was 50 cents pr uh, producing company. And, uh, so this is the first appearance of zero. Never heard of this character before. It is actually a really cool cover. Um, it gives me some like bloodshot vibes. And uh, so that's what I immediately thought when I thought of, uh, when I saw this cover. Um, picked this up in the two dollar section that they had there. They had like one dollar, two dollar books, and then you know regular priced books. So I picked this up for two bucks, and uh, this is probably going for like fifty, sixty, seventy dollars up. So uh, this was a huge pickup. Um, all right, so that was the only thing I picked up there. Like I said, I've been to Second and Charles like two or three times now, and I've struck out, and I was going to say, if I didn't pick up anything there <laughs> this time, I'm not going to go there again. So that gave me a small uh, bit of hope to hang on to. Um, next book was, this was an IDW book. Um, been looking at some of the, obviously, the Star Wars keys, especially there's a lot of Star Wars uh, shows coming up. Obviously, the Boba Fett series just finished up. Um, there's going to be the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. There's going to be the Ahsoka show going down the road. And obviously, the next Mandalorian season. So any of these like spec um, first appearance Jedis, I usually try to pick up when I can. And um, this one was a one-shot. So this is Star Wars High Republic Adventures. This is a one-shot, like I said. The <laughs> Galactic Bake Off Spectacular. Um, this has two first appearances. They're both Jedi. And it says first Fambola and first Master Griswold. So um, I picked this up for a uh, cover price, which was $5.99. And I, like I said, I always like to tell you what I, what I paid for these books when I do find them. Um, next book, also picked this up at cover price. And this is... Incredible Hulk issue number three. This is from the current run with Donnie Cates. I have not been reading this run um, Maybe I should just read the first three issues. I don't know. I, I just feel like anything that comes after this um, The current immortal Hulk run like after that current, you know run that finished by uh, Al Ewing and Ross that it's just really hard to follow up, you know, so um, I Heard it's been a little wacky but I'll give it a shot eventually. Um, maybe I'll read it this weekend. Who knows? But I was able to pick this up for a cover price. This has been 
it's been like a, I don't know, hot book since it came out. It was like a 10 to, I don't know, $20 book when it came out. I don't know if it's like trending at like $10, $12, or something like that right now. I believe the character's first appearance is Titan. It's a, uh, first appearance, it's not a first full appearance. I believe the first full appearance will be coming in issue six, maybe. Um, I guess from what Donny Cates has been saying, it's supposed to be like a Holtz version, like villain version of Null. So I don't know. It, it's been done before, so I don't really have any high hopes for the character. <laughs> and this cover art is pretty atrocious, if you ask me. <laughs> I don't know who did the cover, if it's uh, Ryan Otley or not, but it is, yeah, Ryan Otley. It is not the best cover. I do like the kind of vintage-looking Wolverine there, but I don't know. It's giving me some bad, like, 90s Liefeld vibes. Um... I did pick up these. This this one I was really surprised that these books were still here. Obviously, with the uh, Moon Knight trailer that came out, we, we all know that the um, the villain that Ethan Hawke is playing is uh, Dr. Arthur Harrow, which doesn't really play a huge role in the Moon Knight series. Um, he only issue, appears in one issue, and uh, this is this issue right here. I've talked about this book quite a bit. This is Fist of Kanshu. This is from Volume 2. Is it Volume 2? I believe so. Uh, volume 2 of Moon Knight. It's a four-issue series. This is issue number two. Like I said, it's his first and only appearance in the comics. And uh, this is a newsstand copy, um, which I believe this series came out in, I want to say, 88 or 89. I don't recall offhand, but um, I picked this up for, actually, oh, sorry, it says it right on here, 85, 85, for some reason I thought it was later. Um, so the newsstand doesn't really matter, because uh, it was equal at this point, but um, picked this up for 10 bucks, and not only did I get one, I got two copies. So uh, there was three copies there, I actually didn't pick up the third copy. I left the third copy there for somebody else to pick up. Um, so if somebody wanted to pick that up for 10 bucks, it was there as well. Um, and then I guess I do got an unboxing. Um, was looking at this particular issue in the current Moon Knight series when it came out. And the cover B I forget if it was the cover, cover B or the cover, I think it was the cover B. When it came out, for some reason, it like spiked like crazy. And, you know, I've been reading the series right along, right through. And I was like, there's no reason why this book should be, you know, a $30, $35 book. You know, when there's no first appearance, there's... Nothing really, no death, no origin story, none of that. Nothing significant in the story for it to warrant being a $35 book. Especially when the cover A was only selling for like $8, $9. So I knew that this book was going to come back down in price. If uh, you guys already know what I'm talking about, you, pretty have, you pr probably have a good idea. You know, I like the cover. I'm a big fan of Raza. Me, personally, he's, like, top three, if not number one artist right now out there. Modern artist. Modern artist out there right now. I don't think he gets enough love for the amount of great artwork that he does. But this was a perfect example of why this book spiked for as high as it did. It's because of the artwork was amazing. So... Just opened up this package. This guy did great packaging. Even got a nice little pink envelope in it. <laughs> but uh, the book in question, boom, Moon Knight issue number seven. This is the, it is, yeah, cover B. This is the Raza cover. Like I said, beautiful cover. I like how he has that Mr. Knight, the business suit on there. He's overlooking the enemy. Beautiful cover. I paid, so the cover price was $3.99. I ended up paying $4.99. Uh, I think with shipping, it, it came out to $10. Bucks. 
So um, it, it pays to wait, especially when it's not really a significant, you know, book. It's just cover art that you should wait. Prices will eventually fall down because after a week or so of a hot book, people forget about it and they move on to the next book. So um, perfect example of just being patient and you'll end up finding the book for cheap price. So I was really happy to get this. This cover is beautiful. Like I said, I was never able to get it. It's sold out everywhere. You see it right on the, just a little bit, a little bit of blood splat on his suit there. Just that little touch for this all white cover, which really makes it pop. It's a fantastic cover. But um, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little, uh, this little spec. Um, books that I picked up recently. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned. I'm going to have some more content. I ended up going to uh, an LCS as well today. They had an auction there. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Picked up some books and uh, stay tuned for that. And until next time, Rockspeth Comics, out.